In this video, we're going to look at how you can allow all domains for your image uh, configuration in Next.js. So here, if you're using the image component with an external URL, you need to configure in your next config that this is allowed. Now we can be very specific. And here in this case, we're using images.unsplash.com. So we could say uh, images, remote patterns, remote patterns, and that's an array and then an object. And then we can say the protocol, so only HTTPS images, and the host is going to be images.unsplash.com. So if I do this, let's see if I have any errors. Yeah, so if you change the next config file, sometimes the dev server stops running, so you have to restart it yourself. And let's see if that works. So this should work. Okay, actually, we got an issue here. Uh, it says, I'm saying host, there should be host name. So if I do that, and then uh, restart again. Yeah, so now I restart it and you can see the image is properly loading. Now it's quite annoying to do that for all uh, host names. So what you can also do is you can say two asterisks. And if you save here again, make sure you watch the terminal because sometimes the dev server stops running when you change the next config file. So here, yeah, so you can see it stops running here. So I need to restart here. And this is going to be, well, it's going to work because I know I've, I've prepared this, so I'm, I know it's going to work. But this is one way of, well, I think it's the only way of allowing all host names. So if I refresh here to make sure that it works, let's see. Uh, I can take a couple of seconds. Yeah, so now I've reloaded this and you can see the image is still working. Right, so hopefully this uh, fixed your uh, issue. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.